about the size chart and size guide Shopify app tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Avada size chart app and also put some size tables and size guides for your, uh, let's say your products or your clothing products, especially for shoes, t-shirts, coats, and whatever product that you have. So basically this app will facilitate right there the work for you instead of uh, adding the size charts. Uh, manually are going to get them automatically into the app. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com, sign in for an account within the platform, and then you are going to see the admin dashboard. Once you are here, make sure that you have already added some products that necessarily needs sizing. So we are going to see here the sizes. And as you can see here, we have some shoes. So we are going to work on the shoes sizes. I'm going to click on the search bar at the top and type in Avada like that size and we are going to see here the app so no uh, results found so we are going to click on the Shopify app market or app store we are going to see here the size chart and guide from here so we are going to see or need the Avada one so we have this the mage size and guide which is here the replacement of the Avada size chart and size guide. Basically, for those who does know what is Avada size chart and size guide app is, they are going to see that they have the same illustration. Only one thing that they have been changed or that uh, they have been changing is the developer here, which is a Mage Plaza and also the logo here. So basically the old a uh, version of this app was developed by Avada and was here uh, set up the logo of Avada. So this is uh, their uh, new look app. I think that they have made this um, uh, some port or a third port right there or a, an associate with Avada, uh, as you can see here, um, app. So we are going to click on install. Basically, this is the app. I'm going to install it. We're going to wait for the admin dashboard to respond to our request and then we're going to click on install again to confirm our request right there i'm going to click on it here so we are going to get it this is the same app so if you do not find avada size chart you're going to find mage plaza size chart so we are going basically to pin it to our navigation now what are we going to do is to start uh, here the app we're going to click on continue here. We're going to select the template. For example, here we have the uh, template or the or the size chart or size chart of the uh, template. So basically here we have the men's top, men's bottom, women's top, women's bottom, women's shoes, kids, whatever a type of product that we have here or type of clothing. Basically, you can go ahead and use it for whatever purpose or uh, product that you want. In my case, I'm going to use for men's shoes. So here, you're going to see the previewer. So once you have here the previewer, you're going to set up the uh, chart. So I'm going to click on done here. Now for shoes in the plan, we have three plans. We have the free one. We have the professional one. And also we have the enterprise one. I'm going to use the free one since we are not an enterprise yet. So here I'm going to click on select plan and we are going to see the main menu. Here the app is officially opened. So we are going to set up some settings or see or uh, get to know the different, um, let's say features and also the uh, dashboard of the app. As you can see, the app is uh, now functional. So what are we going to do is to enable the app and let's see here the quick start on how we can do things. Now we have the overview. So we are going to see here the features. I'm going to ignore the features. I'm going to present to you later. So here we have the first step, which is going to be here, uh, enable the app. We're going to click on enable. And now we are going to uh, visit the uh, Shopify theme editor. And we are going to see the section on the app embeds. Here we have the app embedded active. We're going to click on save. 
Now, what are we going to do is to close this window. And we have here the status or the uh, app status refreshed. It is active. Now we are going to follow up the quick start. Here we have the create a size chart and configure settings. I think that the last, let's say here, uh, window has been making these, but I'm going to manage the charts. So this is my first chart. We're going to see it. This is the uh, as long or the uh, menu that we've had before on the opening of the app. We did not have this uh, particular or all of this uh, content, but we've had only the presets. We have here the presets as it is named. And also, it is signifying that the uh, sizes or the table charts and guides are going to be here available and preset in advance. So you do not need to uh, move here a finger to set up things. So as you can see here, we have the uh, men's bottom size chart, for example, here. I'm going to change here, uh, or before I change, we're going to see here the, um, let's say here, uh, the sizes in centimeters or inches. It is going to be uh, changing. You can add some, uh, let's say here, uh, some cases or not. It is up to you. You can choose the men's shoes, for example. You're going to get the centimeters and also the inches. Uh, so here we have the EU size, the uh, UK size, the US and the foot length. So we're going to have here. So if you have some more sizes in mind, you can go ahead and add them right there or let it as it is. Now, here, as you can see, this is the description of the size chart that will be popping up here. So basically it will add a, a container or a pop-up window, which is looking like this to the uh, page right there of the product. And you are going to see it pop in when you click. So this is uh, the uh, kids choice, whatever. I'm going to stick with the men's shoes. Now we are going to uh, uh, right there, uh, scroll down a little bit. We can change here the image. Here we have some images, as you can see. We're going to see the images or the image for that specific case. Each one of the cases has a specific image like that. For example, the men's shoes will be having this. The kids shoes, it is going to have this. So this is a well thought app, I have to admit. This is a very, very uh, very great to see some apps like these. So you can show the convert unit on a uh, storefront if you want. And if you want, if you don't want, you can go ahead and disable that. And at the end, we have here some content, or as you can see here, the text to simplify or explain the table right there at the end of it. So now we are going to head over the top. We can view on the storefront or there it will open up the uh, shoe uh, or the product as you can see here and we are going basically here to have the size chart put up with this so when you click on it it will pop up here the size chart the text or the first table the title of the table and everything is going to be here selected as you can see we have here the image and the explanation. I'm going to uh, exit that. We have also the bottom, uh, as you can see here, like this and whatever. So we are going to, uh, here we have the manage charts. I'm going to head over the app again and we are going to see here uh, the storefront. So I'm going to choose the product to set up here the uh, thing. Now, when you head over the app, I'm going to give you here a, a thing to do or to apply it to an uh, to a uh, actual product. We're on the uh, page here or the first page or the dashboard. When you have set up everything, so like here the size chart, the setting configuration. So if you did not see the settings, you can see them from the uh, dashboard. Here we have the text for the size chart button, the icons that we can use, for example, like this, and also the button type, the inline link position, 
and whatever everything here is going to be preset so if you do not know how to configure things out like the css selector please do not touch it i repeat do not touch it because if you are going to touch it it will ruin things up now for this part you're going to have here the product page and you're going to select the uh, position so either you are going to set up the above the uh, as you can see uh, cart or add to cart button inside or below it so we are going to have it here on the home page for example if you want to add it you can go ahead and add a css selector if you know of course how to add it and uh, for the collection search page if you want here we have the floating button uh, position you can have it on desktop on the middle right or whatever you can show it on mobile on the top or the bottom here we have uh, the size chart pop-up you can go ahead and use it for center full screen left right whatever that is when the uh, button uh, trigger is activated so when you're going to click on it it will uh, pop up here the window uh, here we have the size chart if you want to create a chart we have here the button color for example the button size and the model color and model etc so that was for the settings now i'm going to discard the changes i'm going to have here uh, a visit to the uh, dashboard again for the uh, store font you can go ahead and choose a product to view and go ahead and add it for example this i'm going to select the product to add it to basically it is going to have this and we are going to see normally the uh, product so view store it did not uh, have here the thing so we are going to see the sport issue here this is our it is not for the app and it will be adding that automatically so now the products are going to be here the uh, size chart is going to be active as you can see we have the status of it active so you can go ahead and create a size chart for the specific product i'm going to have here the thing and then we are going to head over the settings with the name of it for example and we are going to select a product so i'm going to select these products and confirm it so we are going to click on save yes publish now and you are going to see here the demonstration i'm going to head over the products i'm going to click on it and you are going to have it right here click on it and boom that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.